morning guys welcome back to another video hope all is well it's the ncaa targeting coach prime with their new rule change proposals we're going to talk about that stay tuned guys please do me a favor before we get into this video please give us a like comment share and subscribe also hit the bell notification so you can get updated on my latest content as it drops all of that will be greatly appreciated by me so is the ncaa targeting coach prime here in his program now it says here ncaa targets deon sanders in colorado with more proposed rule changes so what are these rule changes here let's talk about this so the ncaa is trying to assert their authority in the ever-changing world of college football on Wednesday, the Oversight Committee proposed a few rule changes regarding adding an extra signing period to prioritizing high school recruits before, before four-year student-athletes who hit the transfer portal. Now, we know that Coach Prime, he utilizes the transfer portal quite heavy to um, go after more established players already. He do go after high school, school players as well, but he pri prioritized um, his recruiting to the experienced players. So with this rule change, yes, it will um, affect his um, affect his bottom affect his um, program a little bit. And when it comes to um, tr uh, recruiting, um, this is a direct jab at Deion Sanders at Colorado, who primarily focused on using the transfer portal in the past two cycles. The NCAA wants a signing period to start on the last Wednesday in June for seven days. According to one, um, excuse me, according to one starting on Wednesday after the last FBS regular season game or three or seven days, the final one would come on the first Wednesday in February through April 1st. Um, the NCAA is also considering what to do with the month of December. And if it becomes a dead period, if, it's a key period for Coach Prime and his staff under the new current model. While these dates are spread out, it pushes around and caters towards high school recruits who will be allowed more time to commit and sign. Um, if it gets pushed through, they saying it will be a uh, excuse me. It would also force coaching staff around the country to rethink when they try to bring players in from the portal. The NCAA has already reduced the amount of days for the portal window to open and will likely do more with an emphasis um, on this not being um, used um, like free agency. So it will affect what he's doing a little bit, but it just affect the window. Um, but all they have to do is prepare ahead of time because the window is going to close. But it, it like I said, it's it is not just targeting Coach Prime, it's targeting other players, um, coaches around the country as well who heavily use that transfer portal. And Coach Prime is not the only one that heavily used that transfer portal. But he, you know, what he did last year was a huge roster overhaul. So of course the attention is gonna be on Colorado, right? Um, because he primarily built his team on that transfer portal because remember the first year a lot of people left that team a few stayed but most of the players came in through the transfer portal he did have some high school players come in um last year and also this year um and he, i think he has two or three waiting to come i would say three and a half i mean three maybe four but um we're waiting for another player to get his situation straight first before he comes to colorado but um as the years go on, the more is um, established on uh, Colorado is going to be. I think they'll be fine. I mean, people are just going to have to adjust to that tra um, transfer portal window. That's all it is. And players, look, players are going to be aware of it as well, and they're going to move quicker and swifter um, to get in that transfer portal, start making their calls, and um, getting uh, transferred to these schools. That's all it's going to be. But – I honestly think there's going to be more changes, though, not just this. I think right now with this transfer portal, it still is like free agency. Um, it's like it's like a mini free agency in NFL. The player is here one year, the next year he's going somewhere else. So there's going to be a lot more proposed rule changes, I'm telling you right now. And it's not just targeting Coach Prime, um, all the other colleges – Coach college head coaches around the country is going to be affected by it as well. So 
It's not just Coach Prime, but I understand why they're saying that. But it's not just Coach Prime, though. But he do rely heavily on that transfer portal, let me tell you. He do. And he has to. Um, this team is still kind of in the rebuilding phase here. It is. Uh, last year was uh, the foundational year. This year, they're adding on some pieces, what they need. But I can tell from what he's saying that they need more um, additions. So he's still in the rebuilding phase. But. Hey, man, that's just my take on it, man. What say you? Drop a comment below. Um, please give us a like. That will be greatly appreciated. Please subscribe. Guys, you know I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Thanks for watching, guys. But before you go, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, hit the bell notification so you can get updated on my latest content as it drops. If you have any video ideas, feel free to leave a comment below. Take care.